Yay! Trophy, yay! I got the relic. I remember getting something called relic. Well, I can see what the other trophies are, I think. enemies drop their grenade by shooting them. Kill ten enemies with throwback grenades. Throwback grenade and defeat two enemies at once. Master ninja. <laughs> So hang on. What color trophy was the was the hundred uh That's a silver? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, silver. It said silver. And even beating it in hard is... Crushing is gold. Hard is silver. Fuck this. That's a very good question. Nerd. What does the co-lead game designer of Uncharted 3 do? Um, Whoa, uh, nerd! We're, we're primarily in charge of um, making sure that uh, the game... <sighs> how, do, how do you even describe it? So nerd! I, mean, I look at it, so I look at it as, a, as, a, as a game designer being the, the storyteller, you know, the, the director, the, the, the crafter of the experience. A co-lead game designer at Naughty Dog is responsible for whatever we got to do right now. That can mean uh, maybe coming up with a good idea. Uh, it very often means uh, listening to good ideas from our teammates all around us, not just on the design team, but the artists and the animators, the programmers and the audio people, the visual effects guys that we work with, all are terrific game designers in their own ways. We wear a lot of hats. I mean, all the leads at Naughty Dog, we have a lot more responsibility, I think, um, than a lot of studios uh, because we don't have in-house producers. We kind of are the managers and producers of the team. They're really the ones who handle 
uh, the scheduling and making sure that all of the individual animations he and wanted to look uh, like foreground this when he assets woke up in the and physics assets and, and uh, whatever else may be necessary uh, for their levels get into the game at the right time and work awesome and have the design specs and everything of that sort. My main job is sort of corralling the designers into a sort of coherent vision for what the game is going to come out like and uh this and is your fault uh, justin we translate what you know we call the active cinematic experience into a, a gameplay that the player is going to like and, and be interested in all the time i think a game designer's first uh, and most important role is to be an advocate for the player we're always thinking about the player's experience really from the very beginning when they become aware of the game uh, all the way through to uh, you know when they're putting in their hundredth hour in our multiplayer game we're always thinking about how can we make their experience better how can we draw them further into the fictional interactive world that we've created and how can we entertain them and surprise them and delight them we're unwilling to settle for anything other than what we consider to be the best possible experience that we can create. The whole idea of the active cinematic experience, you know, the playable Hollywood blockbuster, only barely made it in. There was like one moment in Uncharted 1 that pretty much everyone picked out as like, that's the bit that we want to do in Uncharted 2. And so Uncharted 2 was, hey, that, that little moment, that 30 seconds of gameplay, how do we make a game that evokes that the entire time? Uncharted 2 was an amazing experience, putting that game together, creating all of that new technology uh, and doing the groundbreaking things that we did with it. There were so many things in Uncharted 2 that we did that had never been done before. In particular, in terms of having characters running around, interacting on an environment that could move. And so I guess in the process of making Uncharted 3, uh, we really took that idea and ran with it. Yeah, you did. Don't. Stay down. We now felt like we had more, more freedom and, and time and energy to explore more of the artistic aspects of it. See, but the difference is, in Uncharted 1 and 2, I'm guessing you had a really story, to us and then you built a game around were, it. Um, in Uncharted 3, you thought up of a bunch of levels, really put a lot of and then built a story around it. Drake is to convey thought through his body language. When he's in an environment where a tense environment like we want him to show that when he's relaxed we want you to see that and so we've been able to change the way that he moves based on his environment based on where he's at in the story there might be sections where um, Drake is just completely exhausted and when you stop moving him he'll just collapse to the ground and you you kind of pick him back up again and you feel kind of like come on like let's go with you know it's just a little bit further we can do this and it's something that I hope the players appreciate suddenly we have the great majority of the technology that we need to make the type of game that we wanted to make from the beginning and the question becomes well, where do we go from here? Immediately, we, we thought about uh, desert, sand. You know, sand is a, a very big challenge technologically. Um, it flows and moves and mounds and um, changes and shifts uh, like water, but also in a more viscous way. So there are all sorts of different uh, gameplay ideas that came from that. I see him. If we could do anything at all that we wanted to do with the same kind of technology, what could we do? And that's what's led us to think of insane things like a whole level which turns you know, through 90 degrees uh, at key stages of the gameplay on the sinking cruise ship. No, no, no. Well, the cruise ship is uh, one of the most technologically advanced levels I've ever worked on, and certainly I think any other company's worked on. Like the cruise ship is being driven by a real-time wave ocean simulation that drives the animation of the ship, so it never cycles the same way twice. It, it, you know, it, it feels different every time you play it. When I started the cruise ship, I was actually planning on faking most of that with animation. But then uh, we have this awesome guy, uh, Carlos Gonzalez, here, and he he was like. Why would you do that? Why would you fake it with an animation when we can make you a fully procedural ocean? That's, that's one of the, the other really funny things about Naughty Dog is that I asked for a simpler feature and Carlos gave me 
a real-time, fully procedural ocean. That's how Naughty Dog rolls. <laughs> The other sort of big thing that we try to do is um, to make sure that our multiplayer this time felt uh, much more diverse and interesting and, um, and sort of a, a make it a big ticket item. So what does what, what Uncharted mean, right? Like it's not only like this big cinematic experience, right? It's also about like your comrades, right? Like the people who you're working with all the time, right? And, and so we looked at that and like, well, what do we do about that? Okay, well, let's come up with the buddy system. And in single player, we have this cargo plane and it's really cool sequence in single player. It's extraordinary, it's extraordinary. And I saw that and I went to Evan Wells and I said, Evan, we need to use that in a multiplayer map. I'm thinking like the plane's gonna come down this runway, there's gonna be moving trucks around the plane, you're gonna be jumping plane to plane to truck to, to plane. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be incredible. It was one of the most hardest things I've done in my entire life. I saw that and I was like, I thought about all the people that, that went into making that, the animators and the foreground artists and Kurt just sitting there and hooking everything up in all the different possible ways it could work. And I was like, we're crazy. So many weeks of work went into less than a 30 second sequence. You know, I, I look at the stuff that we do and, and I can't believe how much love each individual person puts into the stuff that they're responsible for. I think that that kind of attention to detail is really important um, for a number of different reasons, but uh, the most important reason is that people recognize it and they love it. It's those moments that make a Naughty Dog game different. So when you ask why are we passionate about what we do, it's because we're given the opportunity to do this and we're surrounded by people who can do it and who want to do it. We have an incredible amount of resources at our disposal, but we think so much bigger than what we have um, that there's always something that's pushing us to, to go a little bit further. The, the way the studio gets things done is because people care. And the mentality of the company is, if, if we see you care so much, then we'll let you go and go take care of it. And I think that's really what makes the company come together. Now puppy is resting. I'm just looking at her feet again now that she's not fidgeting. Yeah. Been up to something, doggy. Yeah, my clock is ten minutes fast. Oh well. I have a lot of games. What downloaded games are? I have a lot. I have not played Chrono Cross yet. All right, now 
what I need to do is find out when the Pet Smart opens so I can take Oreo to the vet. Yeah, she's got two. Her both her back paws are kind of like red and irritated, and they kind of got like blood and scabs on them. I can't really tell what hurt her, but <clears throat> oh, I know what I can do. Hang on. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay. The Banfield Pet Hospital is open on Sundays from 8 to 6. So, in two hours, we're going to the doctor, okay? She hasn't been outside a lot. It won't cost a lot. I mean, it'll cost some, but if, as long as Oreo's healthy, that's all that matters. If you're just joining us, what's going on is I noticed I was I was playing with Oreo and I noticed that she's got some kind of like uh like between her toes, like between her little paw pads, she's got like she's got some kind of redness or like like uh, almost like dried blood, almost like it it's like she's been burned or something like that, like a like a scrape. It's hard to describe, but she's I, I don't know what it is. She's got like uh. It's it's like a soreness, and I don't know what it is. It's not on the bottom of her of her feet. It's like between her toes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get it looked at. She may have stepped on something. She also tends to chew on herself sometimes. Like she she for some reason has like an itch on her butt quite a lot. Like she has she she likes to nip at her own backside, and she's kind of worn away a piece of her there, just because she likes to kind of bite at her own ass. But, I don't know, maybe she chews on her feet and she just kind of rubbed her feet raw, chewing at that. And if that's the case, that's fine. Um, we'll fight, we'll figure it out. But I don't want to get any, I don't want it to get any worse, because she'll be miserable. It could be like dryness or yeah, dermatitis or something like that. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so I just play one on the internet. Uncharted Three. If you liked the previous Uncharted games, I would give Three a rental and play through it, and then send it back, and never look at it again. <laughs> it, 
it doesn't, well, I mean, there's multiplayer, but really not any replay value. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. It's, fine. it's, I, it's, the, it's definitely, it's really, it's a good Uncharted game, but it, it's, I'm sorry, it's an okay Uncharted game, which makes it better than a lot of games. But it is the weakest of the series, by far. Poor Oreo. You gotta tell me when something's hurting, okay? I would help you. She hasn't really been crying about it. I mean, she does, she's not limping, and she's not she's not favoring her feet really. Um, another thing it could have been is like I so said, we got some we got our yard is mainly rocks. We don't have a lot of grass. Okay, we don't have any grass. It's mainly rocks, and it's possible she just kind of have cut. She's kind of cut her feet up going out on the rocks. I don't see how because it's only her back feet and it's in the exact same spot. And I would think if she was cutting her feet, it would be on the bottom for pads. I don't know. Um, I, I think you're right. I think they'll probably just get, get, get some kind of lotion and they'll have me keep on her to make sure she doesn't bite at her feet anymore. And if that's the case, fine. But if it's something that can be prevented, well, I will prevent it. Um, she, well, she doesn't dig with her back legs. If the doctor says that it's probably the rocks in the backyard, I'll do something about the rocks in the backyard. It's not a big deal. Hang on. I'll be back. But you must admit, I'm a good daddy. Isn't that right, Oreos? Yeah. I wonder if I can play this on European Extreme. Oh no! No European Extreme. gets rid of the radar.
I have I've never seen there's probably on YouTube somebody plays through European Extreme, but I don't know how. I would I couldn't do it. Now, European Extreme is the Hudson River. Two years ago, it's basically like we had classified one hit you're dead. That a new type, type of metal gameplay. gear was scheduled it's, for transport. It's not strictly one hit, but the you're pretty much stank, dead. But our noses have been out in the cold too long. I, is it your scene game over? I, okay. Are you trying to get my attention, Oreo? Standing directly on me? Yes. This is Snake. Check it out. Do you HD read me, Doctor? Con, I got a con. Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? The stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? 
And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear. We need to get David Hayter, Steve Bloom, and, and Crispin bring back Freeman in a room just to go uh, But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, uh, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? A There's growling too much contest. we don't know about this new prototype. The capabilities, Releasing the deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw Crop some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. An anti-Metal Gear organization, and officially Gayest recognized by the UN. organization recognized, named ever. But still fringe, Otacon. And Oreo is now chasing her tail. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake! Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men... You wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? A surveillance camera. Targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to 
take over a tanker of this size. The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. And you know the Russian hats. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. <laughs> Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov chopper, right? Killer whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake. All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch.
How the fuck do I get in here? Encounter the enemy requesting that. There's no CQC in this version. I don't think so. I think he just picked the guy up. Okay, so how do you do the, how do you do the, I, I know there's a choke hold in this game, but how do you do it? in the instructions. Because you guys don't know what you're talking about. Square button throw choke when no weapon is equipped, but I was doing that.
Oh, that door opens. Well, fine. Thank you for that. Wow, that ration is huge! See those lockers? That's a good place to hide yourself if you're in a pinch. Push the action button near the locker to open the door. Walk into it for a quick concealment. Push the action button once more to get out of the locker. You can see out from the slit in the door. Make sure you check the area using first-person view before you go out. You can also hide enemies you've knocked out in the locker. Just open the locker. Unable to find the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. If you press square while running, it throws the ah, thing. The CQC thing was a lot better for that kind of thing. Ugh, you can't move while crouching. That's something else that was in, like, uh, Guns of the Patriots that you could do.
Raven. murder on the ship and it's not me? Damn you. So inexact. I don't know how I ever played this game. We lost contact with the engine. Being attacked. I don't know where he is. Titan security. Understood. Assigning all personnel to the starboard entrance to the engine room. Going off in front of this guy. Snake, respond. Snake, snake. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return Fire to the position following the control of the small room on the port side. Uh. 
Whoa, she's got a weird face. What? Snake, respond. Snake, snake. Must have been bombed. Oh, yup. Cigarettes kill you in a hurry.
high def buildings. Oh yeah. Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area's outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... No lick in your feet, okay? None of that. Shalashashka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Report your status. Control room, communications, and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. your gun overboard slowly a woman show your face you men you're all the same who are you we are nomads wanderers I said to move pits Americans. So you should win, too. I'm a nomad, too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. High def armpit hair. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? 
I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice, either. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. we just kill each other? I didn't ask for your fucking life story. Now the unit is my life. My family. We've shared everything. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. God damn, she's fast. Nothing matters to me. She's too fast. I can't beat her. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We share everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. We would leave in nothing, Lebowski. Whoever you are, and would you come back if you come back and cut off your chops? Fast! How the fuck did she shoot me from there? I'm pretty sure doping up a pregnant woman with several loads of anesthetic and tranquilizer is going to hurt me. ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. 
He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. Y you could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't going to be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous From tip. From 4chan. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Isn't there like an Easter egg where like... I got our dog tags. I'm gonna put her in the walls of Jericho! Tap! Tap, you bitch! Tap! Ask her! <laughs> Walls of Jericho! <laughs> she didn't tap. I think there's something like if you lay on top of her and then call Otacon. She's not dead, is she? No, just knocked out. Good. Looks like Little Angel, doesn't she? What's gotten into you? Nothing. Sleeping Beauty may have been awakened by Prince Charming's kiss, but you better not try it here. I'm with you. Besides, I've had enough of tomboys. Hey, Snake, you found a handgun. Yeah, it's a decent one. USP. The USP fires real bullets, not the knockout rounds the M9 uses. You know that, right? The USP isn't equipped with a suppressor, either. If you fire it when there are enemies nearby, they'll probably hear it. Keep that in mind. Having the USP will make... Snake, metal... Alright, enough of these monkey shines. Can you kill her? I don't think you can kill her. Oh, she vanished now. She's gone. Oh well. elephant out for hours, except for a woman who it knocks out for exactly 30 seconds. 
Snake caught a cold. Oh, look at the Semtex. Look at the Semtex. Not gonna get me with that twice. I speared him at the top of the stairs, but died. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Snake! Come on now, really? I got the old set reinforcements. I hate the choke on this game. Snake, 
There should be a door into the holds in the northwest section of the engine room. Head west. Which way is west? Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. So this is what they were talking about. Looks like it. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but... There are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. Okay, that's what I was forgetting. Uh, there still be lasers. That face is fucking creepy. Get up on the thing. Checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in ten minutes' time. Time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time.
that was bullshit that guy saw me. He was all grooving out. Oh, just kill me. I should have just shot him. Snake, what's wrong? Snake! Snake! Oh, I'm trying to be sneaky. Checkpoint passed. All non essential per personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. if you take cover to the wall with the pipe. Like what? I feel asleep. If you want to see it, I'll do it. I'll get caught, though. Much. The lift is also under our control. We're on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit, with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir. Why do we have these bricks in the back of their heads?
I flashbang myself fucking twice. Snake, you okay? Snake! Happy motherfucker, aren't you? Whoa! That's what happens when you activate the beast mode. Thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Pwned. Does Ocelot even know whose side he's on? <laughs> the Colonel will be joining you soon. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. Could possibly be photoshopped. All right. There's actually one little thing. 
Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal file, took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. So you want me to fuck the with moment, the... Every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear... I remember if you, if you run right in front of the projector, they see The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of RAID. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air backgrounds. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than we think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater. Move in so under if I keep switching it, something crude is going to happen. 
in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its Okay, so there's a affairs. relatively average looking woman on a beach. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy Not is really all that provocative. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not Let's the only Throw some Bukaki porn up there. But it cannot be more different in nature than the Navy. <laughs> Stop getting around, Snake. Snake! We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to the Oh man. Resources. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have to start the whole fucking thing over. With Ray. The hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying I wonder if their I can own sneak Metal past Gear Force guy. to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Some nope. Same way I did it before. It's the easiest the way, really. Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of war. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brands, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by the Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project, but I promise you that they will not succeed. The 
This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease. Rest a little. Ah. Ah, forget about it. Let's continue. I have a daughter. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater. Move in undetected and make it landing on any shoreline. I think I've just gone in a circle. Identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for now. I shouldn't have taken that great. Snake, respond! Snake? Snake! We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a... No, I'm done. <laughs> you wanna save, Snake? I gotta take Wario to the vet in about a half an hour. Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one? What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How is that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Alright, I'm closing the stream down. Thanks for watching, guys.